Yes. Yes. So today we're doing a video response to Sega's channel. We saw his video and he said you can send us anything. He said not cookies. So we hopefully qualify as a fine ass B. I don't <laughs> hope so. Hopefully, Sega, I hope you I hope you like our cookies. Now we're they gonna are the best cookies you've ever yeah. made. And we're gonna show you the whole ever process. Tasted. The whole process. So you can see we didn't put any rat poison or anything in, and I hope you like them. We like your channel, we watch it all the time. Yeah, you're such a funny comedian, and I hope you can give so a fun. shout out to Cooking Cousins. And check out our channel, we cook every kind of food. Yeah. If you wanted us to make something, we make what our viewers like. So let, let us know. Whatever you want. We'll make it. We'd love to cook. Anything you want. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so these are homemade chocolate chip cookies. They're like a family secret recipe. And we're sending them to you tonight, so they'll be fresh by the time they get to you. So, we're from Toronto, so. Yeah, that means you have to check your box before the end of the month because these will go bad in about a week. So and they are soon. Too good to miss. So, too make good. sure you keep drying them. Check so, them out. Chrissy, what are we going to start with? One egg. One egg. Into the bowl it goes. Room temperature egg. Room temperature is the best for baking, and we're going to use three quarters of a cup of butter. So that's one quarter of a cup less, oh. one quarter less than a cup of butter. So you're just going to cut that. Make sure it's soft. Make sure it's at room temperature. So Chrissy's going to get mixing there. So mix together. You know what? I'm going to get a blender for this. It's a little bit hard to need a blender. We want to make you the most delicious cookies you ever tried, and honestly, they will be. Okay, so we're going to get the blender out, and you can also add... So we're going to add a half cup of white sugar to that. Yep. And then we're going to blend it just for a few minutes, not too long. You don't want to over-process it. And then we have a couple more ingredients. That's it. Super easy. These are our family's, like, no one cookie recipe. Okay, so we're just going to blend. Just on low. My cord's not long enough, my heart. So we're just going to blend on low. Scraping the bowl, the side of the bowl down. Okay, perfect. perfect. So it's all blended in. We're just going to add a quarter cup of brown sugar. Brown sugar. In there. We can add some vanilla, a teaspoon of vanilla. We're just going to eyeball it because we, we like it a little bit stronger. Yeah. We think you'll like it too. Yeah, you'll love it. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to blend again, just on low, just till it all combines. So it should be like a creamy consistency. I'll hold it up in a sec to see if you can see what it looks like. Okay. Perfect. So, I don't know if you can see that, but it's can all blended together perfectly. You don't want to over mix. You don't want to get a tough cookie. Let's try some tough cookie. Okay. So, is it delicious yet? It's good. We have it buttery. We have added flour. the flour, yes. Mm. That's why it's a little bit buttery. Okay, so you're going to add a cup of white flour. So just pour that in there. So, oh, there we go. For beginners, you don't want to pour over the bowl, just in case. You're gonna level off with your finger. Super easy. You do need exact measurements for this cookie. Yeah, for baking. Oh. We have them on our channel too. This is just a rerun because these are our most popular. Oh, we just wanted to send them that to we you. Make. So we thought you'd like them. So that's one cup of white flour, and we're gonna add half a teaspoon of baking soda. So let me just put soda. Chris is gonna mix it in there. Half a teaspoon. So mix it. Should kind of start forming together. Like a dough. In a dough form. So that's why you do it with the sink, just in case you get extra. So yeah, add that's a good tip. And a pinch of salt. Now this just brings all the flavors out. And some people are like, why do you put salt in a sweet dish? But it accentuates all the flavors. So you, you do like need it. A pinch. So Chris is going to keep, keep blending. You need a lot of elbow grease in there. Going to get some muscles after this. Okay, so. Okay, it looks good. We need another half a cup of so, flour. Flour. So you so add them like, at once. So. Yeah. The recipe takes about two cups of flour, but depending on the altitude and the moisture in your house, you can use a little bit less. So we're probably going to use about one and three quarters of a cup. So, so I'm going to... Yeah, you want your dough to be sticky, but not sticky that'll kind of like stick to your finger or stick yeah, to the spoon when you're serving it. That's exactly right. So it's kind of eyeballing at the last little measurement. I'm just going to keep mixing there. And that's it. We add chip it and bake them. So easy. so easy. And they only bake for nine minutes. How easy is that? You can even do it when your guests are over. Now, our favorite part, chip it. So we're going to use semi-sweet chip it. They're your favorite. I love so much. I can't use milk. I don't know why. Yeah, they're our favorite. Them. So you're going to add about a half of a bag. So this is only a quarter. So we're going to open another bag. And a little bit more of this bag. Because they're so good with chip it. That's probably good. Probably good. Okay, and then just mix them. And that's it. We're going to line our cookie yeah. sheet. And these are coming your way, our friend. 
You're gonna love them. I'm gonna make it an inside. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, so good. Mm, so good. Mm. Mm. Here's the cookies going into the oven. Is it on? So this is what they look like. Small little teaspoon. Put in the oven. Make sure your oven's at 350. Put it on the bottom rack. Now, depending on oven strength, test it in about eight minutes. They'll probably take about nine minutes and they bake on the baking sheet for two more minutes, okay? So we're gonna set our timer, eight minutes. Should look white on the top. And then you should let them cook on this for about two minutes and then transfer them to a little baking sheet like that. These are the cookies we are gonna send to you. You better like them and eat them. They only took eight minutes. See, they're a little bit brown on the bottoms. Just a little bit brown and white on the top. We'll show you when we package them up to send them to you.